Come on! Here we go, bricks and stage, man. Look at this shit. It's an academy. Look at the size of this place, man. Check this out, man. Yeah, man! Hey, tonight, guys, we got a ramp. Check these ramps out, man. These ramps out. Oh, Matt, check up there. He's going to be standing up there singing tonight. Check it out. Check it out, man. This is going to be one fucking hell of a night, man. Look at the size of this motherfucker. This is going to be radical. The performance part of it is, obviously, that's the highlight of our day every day. It's like we wait around 23 hours of the day to play an hour, really, and that's... That's the way it is being the headline act. So yeah. seeing new places, seeing new fans, seeing all them people be interested mm. in our music and sing back our songs is just some mm. just an amazing moment like to be there and to see that. Mm. Yeah, it's more it's like more of a personal thing if you kind of have a good show. I think it helps if the crowd just go mental as well and they really gain off on it because you kind of feed off them. So it's that kind of makes a good show too. Though. And if it's sweaty, it's better. A good concert for me is when I can't really remember a lot of it. Like autopilot kicks in and you do the show and you come off and it's like, all right, that was cool. Just to see everyone having a good time and as long as everyone's going for it, that's a pretty good show for me. As long as nothing goes wrong, you know, because some, cause some things can go really wrong, like, and you can make a big mistake here and there, and, and if that happens, it's like, oh, no, but mm. we generally don't tend to make that many, but there's always one or two that happens because it's live, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's just live. That's just, that's the beauty of live as well, I think. It's just a lot more raw. Every night, I just try to make them feel that they are the most important people to us, because they are, and every night, I'll, numerous times, I'll, I'll thank them for supporting us, buying our record, our merch, and putting us in this position, really, because without them, we're fucking nothing, man. So I like to let them know that we know that, yeah. and, you know, hopefully they go home thinking that, yeah, man, Bullet appreciate their fans, and as soon as they come back into town next time, we'll go and say hello again, really, so. That's the most, definitely the most important thing for me as a front man, just to let them know they're part, you know, it's a big family now, so. At the end of the day, we got all the time for them because they got all the, all the time for us buying our albums, supporting us, coming to the gigs. So, you know, thank, thanks a lot, like, and it shows, like, if, if, if I can, I, I'll go out and I'll, like, spend as much time as, as I can with whoever wants me to, like, and sign whatever they want because they've come to see me, like, you know? So they do mean a, a lot to us. Mm -hmm. People, to everyone that has supported us since we've started buying our albums and merchandise going on the website and shit, we would like to thank you, obviously, from the bottom of our fucking hearts, because without you guys, we are nothing, and we mean that very much, so thank, thank you. you, everybody.